Hey, I'm Mike Backrell, and today we're going to take a look at a diminished scale pattern that I got from Jonathan Kreisberg. Let's take a look. So for the diminished scale, there's two ways to picture the scale based on what, you're th you, what you view your starting note as. There's the whole half or the half whole version. The whole half way is a common way to typically look at it if you're, if you're playing over a specific diminished chord. Half whole is how people look at it when they're playing over a dominant 7 flat 9 kind of situation. And that's the way we're going to kind of look at it today. We're going to base what we're doing off of each um, off each chord tone in a, in, a, in a dominant 7 flat 9 arpeggio. But this works just the same if you're playing over a diminished chord or any other diminished application you have. Because it's just a scale pattern. So whatever you do with it, it's the same. To start, we're going to base this pattern off of the chord tones of a 7 flat 9, which in in this case, we're going to ignore the root, although we're going to play the root, but we're going to view the chord tone as the flat 9, the major 3rd, the 5th, and the flatted 7th. Those are our four chord tones. And if we play those, we get a diminished arpeggio. The way the pattern works is it's, we're going to start on each of those notes and we're going to play from one of the notes. So in this case, I'm thinking C7. And we're going to play on, on a D flat. We're going to go up a whole step, up a half step, and up another whole step. Now this whole step we're going to put on the next string. So it'll be a fourth away from our starting note. And then we're going to go up a half step and do the same exact pattern. Then we'll go up a half step. And the pattern repeats symmetrically like that. We're taking our, our first four note grouping and going up a tritone from the start. And so it's the same, the same pattern, just a tritone apart. And we can start on any chord tone from that dominant 7 flat 9. So that was the flat 9, starting the 3rd. So here's the 3rd, flat 7, 3rd, flat 7, 3rd. Go down the 5th. Fifth, flat nine, fifth, flat nine, five. Now the way Kreisberg plays it in the solo that I transcribed, he starts by enclosing the the chord tone that we're going to aim for. So in this case, we're aiming for a D flat, so he encloses it by going E flat, C, and then he starts the pattern. Now you could you could do that on any note. Now both notes of those in, of that enclosure are from the diminished scales, so we're still staying in the scale. And we can also go down with this. We start on our, our top of the four notes. Go down a half step. Just on any of the chord tones. And I keep starting on the on the fifth string to do this, but you could start on the sixth string, you can start on any chord tone. You see, it covers a huge chunk of the range, and we're just playing the same pattern in tritones. So it's, there's not much to this, and it gives you the whole scale. Over the years, I've played the diminished scale a lot, but as I do it, I tend to go to the same places with it. The scale pattern is helping me to break out of my natural tendencies with the diminished scale. 
So this is a really simple, easy lesson on on an interesting way to view the diminished scale. But I hope you take it and experiment with it because for, for one, you can ascend the neg really quickly with the scale. But two, it can take you a lot of interesting places where you might just typically just view the arpeggio. Typically, I'll play a diminished phrase like this. You know, just kind of Charlie Parker phrase to F to F7 to B flat major. So now I, I can take it to different places. Because I'm, I'm seeing that pattern and I'm moving it around in different different ways. That's that's doing a lot for my playing. All it is is a four note grouping repeated in tritones. But this just goes to show how much information you can get out of just a couple notes and how much it can impact your playing. So I hope you take that and run with it. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Thanks for checking out the lesson. Keep practicing. See you next time.